Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here, I will show you how to use the round function in Excel to round numbers that either do or don't have decimals. It's a pretty powerful function that's going to save you a lot of time in Excel. What I've got here is just a list of sample numbers with decimals. Nothing special, you can use it for anything you need. There's no specific example here, I'm just going to show you how to use the function and how it can work. So, let's go ahead and start. I've got the function listed over here in nice big bold letters. Equals round, the argument for number and number of digits. Let's start right here. We've got 13.806, and if you look in the formula bar, there are about a million decimals, not really, but a lot. So, let's round that down, equals round, b2, 2. So, I'd like to round this cell right here, b2. Now, how many digits do I want to round? I'm going to show you the first and most commonly used way to do it. It's pretty much this, whatever number you type here, that's positive, is how many digits after the decimal place are going to be kept intact. So, if I'd like it to round to two decimal places, when I put two in here, I close the parentheses and hit enter. Then we get 13.81. The third one was six, so it rounded the second one up to a one. Now, here we've got 1.42 and a bunch of other decimals. So, let's try and round this to the nearest integer. The easiest way to do that, equals round, b3, 0, so, if you want to simply go to the nearest integer, you type 0. Close the parentheses, and it gives us 1. Now, for this one, I'm going to go back to decimals just so we can kind of get the hang of it. Let's take it to one decimal place, equals round, b4, 1, so, instead of 2, let's do 1 this time. So, it rounds it to the first decimal place. We get 23.9. 0 0.9 does not change because 3 is closer to 0 than it is to 0 0.1, basically. So, all the standard mathematical rounding rules apply here. Here, let's round to an integer again, and this one should come out to be 240, and it does. That's because 0 0.6 is closer to 0 0.240 than to 0 0.239. Now, let's go and make this one a little bit bigger and show you what you can do to round on the left side of the decimal place. We've got 2311.161 and a bunch of other decimals. But let's say that we just want to round to the nearest hundred. In this case, you put negative numbers in for the number of digits. Negative goes to the left side of the decimal, and the number of digits we'd like to go to the left is, in this case, 2, and it gives us rounded to the nearest 100, 2300.